Hello everyone. So INICT is just around the corner. The exam is on 17th May. And in this video, I'll talk about what should be your last 10 days strategy for the upcoming INICT. Now this can vary depending upon when you see this video. So I'm recording this video on 3rd of May and the exam is on 17th May. So you have around 12 to 13 days from today. But from uh, whatever time you see this video, this is the last 10 days that I'm planning for all of you. And I've given you a total planner of which date to reach what subject and all. Now let's just start what are the most important things as far as INICT is concerned. Now in an exam like INICT which is conducted by a central institute the most important thing is confidence right. You will get around 70 to 80 questions in which you will be sort of confused you'll have to get the guess, guess the best answer it might not be directly given in your notes but it will be extrapolated from your notes. So there are some deduction skills that you have to focus on. So the most important thing is building a confidence just before the exam and that's why I say if you are able to revise the entire syllabus in the last 10 days, believe me the entire syllabus in the last 10 days if you are able to revise then you get that confidence okay you get that confidence that yes my syllabus is done aane do koi bhi question dekh lenge usko okay now in an exam like INICT more than your content it is your MCQ solving skill you have to give a good exam right you don't have to remember everything you don't need to know all of the stuff you just have to give a good exam right so my two cents before this exam is number one don't give any gt till INICT treat INICT as the gt before your NEET PG right don't give any gt in the last uh, 10 days or 12 days whatever are left next gt aapka INICT hi hona chahiye jo 17th May ko hai so is gt ke liye hume prepare karna hai. you need to prepare for this gt baaki sare gts hum aise de dete hain ki abhi let's say surgery medicine pad rahe hain kal ek whole subject gt hum aise de dete hain but nahi for this gt for this INICT you will prepare you will prepare like you used to prepare for your gt in your neat exam your undergrad exam right prepare for this gt now first of all this goes without saying please 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 don't skip these this exam a lot of students think that they don't deserve to be in aims aims to unke level ka hi nahi hai bhai hum to average student hai below average student hai nahi sab ko exam dena hai agar form bhara hai to exam dena hi hai there should be no student who has filled up the form and has not given an ICT okay please if you have any fears regarding this message me personally or personally on instagram or email me right but everybody should give this INICT exam believe me this exam is easier than NEET PG you know I have been saying this time and again ki INICT ka exam predictable hai it is more easier than it is easier than NEET PG exam NEET PG mein kabhi hard ban jata hai kabhi easy ban jata hai INICT ka sort of similar rehta hai right now what should be the last 10 day strategy let's cut the chase and come directly to the point this is the whole schedule that I have made and I have made this schedule keeping in point that what are the important subjects for your upcoming INICT so the most important subjects are these seven subjects so path pharma micro anat psm obg biochem and fmt now I have not added if I were to add one more subject I'll say surgery but again surgery is very selective so trauma breast thyroid hernia general surgery these are the most important topics in surgery so entire surgery you don't need to read if you were to read only one or two topics please read trauma you will definitely get questions from trauma please read breast and general surgery including burns burns etc right these things you have to cover in surgery now let's come to individual day wise schedule now i've made the schedule from 5th of may right which is on Monday so start your day, start your last 10 day revision with option gyne then 6th path 7th micro 8th biochem 9th you do surgery 10th you do physio plus psyche 11th pediatrics now important topics in pediatrics mein general peach pizza focus karna hai neontology padni hai systemic nahi padni hai abhi okay ortho padho peach minor subject hai kyunki hum systemic nahi padh rahe so club it with orthopedics and radiology Right? Since minor subjects are, we will at least two minor subjects abhi, and if possible, we will do another major like PhD with the club. Kar now, in option gyne, path, micro, pharma, surgery, which are big top, big subjects, I have given one full day for each of these. Now, within this day, if you are, let's say, reading option gyne, how to divide that particular day, what to read, I will just come in a bit. I will come to that. 
ठीक है ना ट्वेल्थ को क्या पढ़ेंगे हम फार्मा फार्मा में क्या फोकस करना है हमें न्यू ड्रग्स पे ज्यादा फोकस करना है एंटी कैंसर ड्रग्स पे ज्यादा फोकस करना है इम्यूनो सप्रेशन पे ज्यादा फोकस करना है पी पे न्यू प्रोग्राम्स अपडेट्स बायोस्टैट्स बायोस्टैट्स पे हर बार क्वेश्चन आते हैं इस बार भी आएंगे ग्राफ्स अनाटमी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अनाटमी विल हैव अराउंड ट्वेल्व टू थर्टीन क्वेश्चन इट्स नॉट लाइक नीट पी जी वेर यू गेट सेवन एट क्वेश्चन यू गेट थर्टीन टू फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन इन अनाटमी मोस्टली फ्रॉम क्रेनियल नर्व हेड एंड नेक न्यूरो अनाटमी एम्ब्रियोलॉजी एंड हिस्टोलॉजी राइट मोस्ट हाई इल्ड क्या है इनमें से भी क्रेनियल नर्व हिस्टोलॉजी एंड एम्ब्रियोलॉजी पक्का पांच क्वेश्चन है इन तीन टॉपिक्स है ना फिफ्थ जस्ट बिफोर दी एग्जाम इफ यू कैन सी फोर्टीन फिफ्टींथ एंड सिक्सटीन आई हैव केप्ट दो सब्जेक्ट विच आर मोर फॉरगेटफुल एंड एट में लोग भूल जाते हैं बच्चे भूल जाते हैं पी एस एम के फॉर्मुलेज बच्चे भूल जाते हैं सो आई हैव केप्ट एम टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द एग्जाम जस्ट बिफोर यूर आई नाई सिटी राइट तो फोर्टीन को हमने एनाटमी पढ़ा फॉरगेटेबल सब्जेक्ट है फिफ्टीन को हमने एफ एम टी रिवाइज किया अगेन फॉरगेटेबल सब्जेक्ट है ऑफ था रिवाइज किया अगेन टफ सब्जेक्ट है एंड नीना खन्ना की इमेजेस पढ़ ली डरमा पूरी पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है जस्ट रिवाइज इट थ्रू इमेजेस नाउ ऑन सिक्सटीन दैट इज द पेनल्टीमेट डे वन डे बिफोर द एग्जाम यूल रीड योर छोटी कॉपी ओनली राइट ऑल द सब्जेक्ट विल बी कवर्ड टिल फिफ्टीन राइट नाउ यूल रीड छोटी कॉपी जस्ट अ डे बिफोर द एग्जाम सो दैट आपके ऑल सब्जेक्ट मोस्ट फॉरगेटेबल स्टाफ वट एवर यू हैव रिटर्न इन योर छोटी कॉपी नाउ यूल रीड इट ऑन द सिक्सटीन ट्राइड बायोस्टैट फॉर्मुले फार्मा फॉर्मुले क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम्स स्कोरिंग्स राइट मसल्स ऑफ सोल्स ऑफ फोर्ट एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा वट एवर यू थिंक यू यू कीप ऑन फॉरगेटिंग ट्रामा Injury scales, etc., etc. Right. So this is the day which you revise everything. So you can take a screenshot of this. Right. You can take a screenshot. I have kept it from fifth May. Right. Now, what are the subjects that you can leave? Right. I have deliberately not put medicine because you know I N S C T specifically medicine के direct questions नहीं होंगे. बहुत सारे questions medicine के ऐसे होंगे जो आप internship की knowledge के through कर कर पाओगे. And medicine is not such a high yield topic to be done in the last ten days. Many questions you'll be able to solve from Path Pharma Micro, Anesthesia, Emergencies, right? Again, Anesthesia, ENT. Very few questions come from in ENT and Anesthesia. So again, if possible, and you don't have time, you can leave this. Okay, don't be in a hurry. Ki sare subjects nahi hoye. It's okay to leave these three four subjects. Now, what to read in each of these subjects? So first of all, let me just reiterate: no GT in the last ten days. and what to read so if it's your strong subject let's say for me anatomy was my strong subject right so i just did tnd of anatomy i just revised my test and discussion notes so i had a pdf i had made my own notes i just revised that so let's say your biochemistry or physiology is a strong subject so just revise the test and discussion of that strong subject and you are done and you are done now for weak subject for weak subject go through the rr notes go through the rr notes for that subject so for example you are weak in biochemistry go through the entire biochemistry rr notes now this is must for you should go uh, you should review your rr notes for these four subjects obg fmt pharma and anatomy very high scoring very volatile subjects uh, you should revise rr notes from for these four subjects at least now questions uh, see if you don't want to do question the last 10 days it's totally fine the last 10 days are dedicated to theory reading but if you want to go just go through बुकमार्क पी वाई क्यूज ओनली आई नाई सी टी ठीक है नीट पी जी एफ एम जी नहीं पढ़ेंगे हम ओनली आई नाई सी टी के बुक मार्क पी वाई क्यूज विच यू गॉट इट रॉन्ग नाउ नो एक्टिव रिकॉर्ड हाउ टू स्टडी नो एक्टिव रिकॉर्ड टू बी डन नाउ यू नीड टू डू रैपिड रीडिंग सो स्क्रीन द स्क्रीन द टेक्स्ट लेट से यूर यू हैव ओपन अप योर बायो केमिस्ट्री जस्ट रीड इट रीड इट इन योर माइंड लाइक दिस ओके नो एक्टिव रिकॉर्ड द आइडिया इज टू रिवाइज एंड कीप एवरीथिंग अ फ्रेश सो दैट रिकॉर्ड ड्यूरिंग द एग्जाम इज फास्टर The aim is to recall. The aim is to build confidence. कि मेरे सारे subject हो गए. I am confident enough that before my final exam, that is my final GT, that is on seventeenth May, I have revised the entire syllabus. If you don't want to do any questions, it's totally fine. Questions करोगे, anxiety होगी, लगेगा कि अभी भी नहीं आता है. Directly GT में, exam में जाके देखना कि कितना आता है, कितना नहीं आता है. And believe me, यार हमारे subconscious mind में इतनी सारी information recall हो जाती है exam day में. You won't even believe. सबको ये लगता है जब वो पढ़ रहे होते हैं कि भाई तैयारी complete नहीं है, तैयारी अच्छी नहीं है, अच्छा नहीं होने वाला. But believe me, on the exam day, somehow you get an intuition from your subconscious mind that yes, I know what the stuff is. एकदम से चल गया पता. So what we are doing in these uh, last ten days, we are building confidence. and with this confidence 
you will definitely get a top thousand rank. Believe me, if you revise the entire theory in the last 10 days, believe me, believe me, you will get a very good rank. Right now, if I am let's say reading OBG, I am reading OBG RR. So the aim is to revise entire OBG RR. And not just the important topics. Look, what do they do? They just cervical cancer, put it, C ovary, leave it. C ovary, cervical cancer, put it, C endometrium, leave it. No, we are revising last ten days. We are revising that all the information is fresh in our mind. That's why we have to do rapid reading. We don't have to give GTs. We don't have to ask questions. It's possible, right? So again, I am reiterating: revise your entire theory in the last ten days. No questions, no GTs. The only GT that you will give is on seventeenth May, and I am sure that you will rock it. That's all from my side. I'll see you in the next one. All the very best for the upcoming I-N-I-C-T exam.